Hi everyone, my name is Phil Staunton, Managing Director of D2M Innovation Limited. This short video just gives you an introduction to the product design process and what the benefits are of product design to people who are looking to launch new product ideas. So, what is product design? Product design is the process of taking a rough sketch and turning that into a viable, market-ready product. So it includes research into existing technologies, ergonomics to ensure that actually it's, it's the right size to be used effectively, improving the functionality, designing it for manufacture, all of those different elements. Your product designer will probably start with a pen and do some sketch development and then will move it onto a industry standard computer-aided design package that will enable the concept to be designed in 3D on the computer. After that, it will probably be moved through prototyping uh, and then into production. So, why would you, as a, an individual or a small company looking to develop an idea, why would you go through the product design process? Well, the benefits, um, the benefits are vast, really. Benefit number one, uh, it will give you something that is then presentable either to an investor uh, or to managers or to buyers or consumers uh, to get some feedback on the idea before taking it any further. So good sketch concept development work uh, or a nice CAM model that's rendered up to look like the final product, you know, that's going to be something you can put in front of people to present and get feedback. Secondly, the product design process may well further enhance your intellectual property protection. So a good product designer will add functionality, find better ways of doing things, and all of that can go into your patent application. The product designer will also design the external appearance to make it look visually appealing, to have that wow factor, and that might, again, enhance your intellectual property protection by giving you the chance to register that design. Also, if you're looking to take this idea to market, the product design process is likely to add value. It's likely to result in a better product that is going to be more appealing to the consumer. Finally, the main point of product design is that a good product designer would ensure that your product is cost effective to manufacture and to produce. Obviously, if you take a rough sketch to a factory potentially in China or in this country, they're not going to be able to produce the product from it. But a product designer will generate computer-aided design files or detailed sketch concept work that can then be used by the factory to produce the product. Prior to that, the design work is probably going to be used to produce a prototype to confirm the design. Um, and again, the product design process is an essential part of getting the concept to a point where a prototype maker can then develop your prototype. So I guess the final question then really is, you know, how do I choose the right product designer to develop my product? Well, I think really there's six things that you should look for when you're choosing a product designer. Point one, choose someone who's going to design your product with you. What you don't want is a product designer who disappears off, comes back with something, tells you it's the right design, but actually it's not what you want. You know, make sure you're involved in the process. Point two, you want to make sure that your product designer is not just visualising the idea. You want to make sure they are fully considering how it works, the functionality, how it's going to be manufactured, what materials, all of that kind of stuff. So make sure that it's a detailed product design process for cost-effective manufacture, not just a visualisation exercise. Point three, meet your designer in person. Uh, this is quite important. And this relates to point four, which is that you should choose a product designer who you get on well with. Um, you're probably going to be working with them for several months. You may well be working with them for several years on various different um, developments of your project. And in which case, you're going to need to make sure that you understand them well and that you get on well with them. Point five, pick the product designer based on their experience. Have a look at their previous work and make sure they've designed stuff that's from a similar industry sector to where your product is sold. And the final point is that if intellectual property is absolutely essential to the success of your product, make sure your product designer has a good understanding of intellectual property protection, i.e. patents and registered designs. D2M Innovation Limited, I think, ticks all of those boxes. Um, we are probably the best product designers in the country in terms of patent understanding because we work in the same office as chartered patent attorneys and therefore our understanding of IP protection uh, is very good. Um, if you want us to quote for your project, please do get in touch. 
Also, if there's anything that you think I haven't really covered properly in this presentation, please do put it in the comments box and I'll get back to you. Thank you.